going to uh, jump into a knot video today. Uh, I think we will see what we can do with the blood knot for you guys. Um, it's a it's a great knot for for tying um, tippet to leader um, and even building leaders. So if you're if you're somebody that wants to build your own leader, it's a great knot to know how to you know advance down to the tippet section using you know some heavier poundage, making your own butt section, things like that. So it's a good knot to know. It's probably one of the more complicated knots, but once you kind of get the system down, it's not too bad. As with all the knot tying videos, as I always mention, I think it's a great idea to practice knots when you're sitting at home at night at the couch, something like that, watching some TV, um, get you some old rope, um, things like that, or the old butt section of a leader, and sit there and practice. I, when I first started doing knots, especially the blood knot, I started with larger line and then worked down to tippet size material. Um, it just kind of simplified it for me and made it a little easier. And then your, your fingers kind of just learn the memory starting with something a little larger. So, you know, that's a good tip of it is start with something big, you know, learn the knot, see the knot better. And then as you drop in size, it makes it a little easier to learn the knot and you get to where you almost don't even have to look at it. You can, you just know what to do with your fingers. It's muscle memory. So anyways, let's get into it and tie the blood knot. So the blood knot, this is a great knot for joining two pieces of line together. Um, I think probably the biggest application this gets used for is either tying tippet on to your leader or building leaders. Um, a lot of people build their own leader and you know do different lengths of butt section all the way down to their tippet material and they use blood knots for that. The, the great thing for it is it's super strong. Um, it's a really pretty knot and if it does have to pass through your rod, like if you accidentally reel in too far on your leader, it passes through the eyes really good. So it's a fairly smooth knot too, which is really nice. So I'm gonna to attempt to tie this and show it to you. It's a little harder because my hands get in the way. So hopefully this comes out on camera pretty well. And I have a tendency of wanting to drag it up closer to my face as I tie it. So hopefully, hopefully I do a good job and represent this well. So you're basically gonna start out just like you do with the double surge knot. You're gonna overlap the lines um, and give yourself plenty to work with. Again, I say that in every knot video, but I'm probably gonna have a good I don't know, seven or eight inches here, just to give myself a lot of line to work with. And you're gonna hold this first piece in your left hand. And at least for a right-handed guy like myself. Now, there's plenty of ways to tie the blood knot. This is the way I tie it. So you can find probably five other ways to tie this. But this is what I've found to be the simplest way for me. So what you wanna do is we're gonna do um, five turns on each side of the knot, basically, is the idea. And what that's going to do is create, um, you're going to have two different color lines on each side and they're going to cinch down and draw close together and it becomes almost like a jam knot in a way. So if you start by making your first five turns and what we're going to do is we're going to make five turns right here and I'm going to explain this before I tie it just so you, if you can't see what I'm doing, you'll understand. So we're going to do five turns here and then we're going to leave a space right here and then we're going to do another five turns with this line right here. And then we're going to take this tag in and pass it through the space that we created in the center of the knot. And then we're going to take this tag in and pass it through the opposite direction of that space we had in the knot. And then the knot is tied, it's just cinching it down. So that's the idea behind this. So let's see if we can make it happen here on the first time and where it's visible for you guys on the camera um, so the video comes out good. So we do one, two, three, four and five and what i do from here is i make sure in my left hand i've got everything so those, those twists don't come out i've got it cinched down between my fingers and the palm of my hand and i hold it right there that's going to create my space in the line and then from there i'm just going to do another five twists if i can get the line to cooperate one two three four and five and then from there this line has to go through the center that little space i created and sometimes you have to hold that to come over here. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. You gotta slide down without letting these twists come out. And this red line has to come back through the center of this hook, or the hook, the, the knot rather. And from this point, I usually take these two tag ends and put them in my mouth. And I just hold them in my teeth together. And then I, I draw the knot. Once you draw the knot, it's pretty much tied. So, so now that you get to this point, again, that knot is ready to just cinch down. You just continually pull through and let it cinch down. And I'm going to be honest with everybody on the camera. This is 20 pound. And the first one I tied 
this is the magic of video editing. I did five wraps and because this is such heavy line, it didn't want to close together very well. So I just retied another one real quick and we edited it out. And I only did four wraps just to get it to cinch a little better to show you the cinch. Um, sometimes on this heavier line, it's harder to get stuff to close together. But I would normally do five wraps if I'm using um, a leader or tippet material, not necessarily this 20 pound stuff. Um, we're using this so that you, you folks at home watching this can see the line very easily. So that's basically the knot. And then you come in here and you actually just trim these really flush right against the knot, both little tag ends. And you are finished up. A nice little blood knot, ready to go fish. And it is super strong, as you can see. So um, not that I'm super strong where I couldn't break 20 pound, but lovely knot. I love it. Again, it's great for building leaders or tying on tippet. Um, if you want a stronger knot than a double surgeons or triple surgeons, knot, this is a stronger knot than that if you're tying tippet on. So if you're going after your world, world record, this is probably the knot that I would be tying. I would, probably wouldn't be doing a double surgeons knot. Does a double surgeons knot work great? Absolutely. Is it easier to tie? Absolutely. But the, the uh, blood knot is definitely a better knot for that instance. As always, give us a call if you got any questions about anything. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Go check out flyshopusa.com if you need any products or any gear. And always happy to help you folks. Thanks for watching the video.